What is up guys? Here we are today with Grenadiers, post-patch Grenadiers. So we've got 70 cost, fast Grenadiers. Uh, we're going to play a pretty standard sniper deck. Um, this with Predator is actually a deck I've played. Uh, it's, this in fact is the deck Alicia is currently playing. So you know it's a good deck. Uh, we're just going to straight swap the Predator for Grens. They cost the same amount, they're faster. I personally think they're worse than Predators right now. But we know the deck is good. So this will be a good test case. Or whether or not the Grens are good, hopefully. That's the game plan, at least. So let's try out new Grenadiers. Three, two, one. Okay, so we're going to open Dogs. And uh, again, one of the big issues with this deck is going to be that I am not used to Dogs being on this, uh, on this far across the screen. I'm used to them being here, because normally I play double infantry Dogs. And we're getting Jump Jet Rush, so we're just going to open Triple Dog. Jump jets are good versus dogs, but they're not amazing. Like, this jump jet cost 40. My dogs have cost me 30 so far, and I'm going to win this oh, fight pretty so easily. Kind of looks like maybe... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just try and get him to kill these dogs off, because he might be trying to pop cap me. No, he isn't. Okay, cool. More jump jets. We're going to go into snipers as quickly as possible. I think we're just going to... Yeah, I think we're just going to save for the snipers here. Need to stall the pad as well. Alright, so the snipers should be able to take care of the jump jets pretty quickly. And we'll get some more dogs. And there's some shocks, we have the dogs to block. Oops, need to shoot this guy. Alright, so there we go. We're going to take first missile pretty easily. Snipers will have to tank the dog for a little while, which sucks, but not a big problem. Alright, and then we go pit bulls. So now we're going to use pit bulls to guard our snipers. Hopefully, I was going to say, hopefully we don't lose a model, but we already did, so that's unfortunate. Oh, we have Grens, don't we? Okay, nice. So let's try Grens. Let's try out the Grenadier blocks. So I want the two-man two -man sniper squad's not great. Um, I don't really mind if this thing dies. But since it's all we've got right now, we'll use it to try and take care of these shots. And we're going to go after his harvester now, because all of our units are over here anyway. An iron cannon that's going to hit. One dog, one sniper. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice iron cannon. Alright, so the Grenz take out is half. We're probably going to lose them here. Not a lot we can do about that. And we're going to send this sniper to die as well. Because a one-man sniper squad is really bad. Two-man sniper squad is not great. One-man sniper squad is like absolutely worthless. So we're going to send that to die. And we need to, we need to, we need to preserve this other squad though. The uh, the three man sniper squad is is very valuable, and it's definitely worth preserving. And then we need to get pitbulls on his pitbull. I should be going Grens again. I shouldn't be making this many pitbulls. I'm just, I'm just used to making like, spamming pitbulls because pitbulls great. All right, so there's a predator tank. We'll get the Grens. I do think if we just put Grens in front of Snipers, it's going to be pretty tough for our opponent to deal with. Uh-oh. That's, uh, that's definitely the last thing I wanted to see here. With a talent. Come on, Grens. You can do it, man. Take out that tank. No, apparently you can't do it. Alright, we'll spam some pit bulls and we should be able to win this missile fairly easily. Alright, so one of the things that's kind of a, in my opinion, makes the Predator better than the Grens is that when you're making snipers, people want to make like anti-infantry air units anyway, and then the Grens are weak to that, whereas the Predator is obviously immune. So it's better to like mix up your unit types. Having snipers and Grens means that people can just make anti-infantry units and be good versus both of yours. Whereas if you have Predator and Sniper, they need anti-vehicle and anti-infantry. Okay. Alright, so dogs first again. Harvester ready. Ready to Waiting to see what he does. I, get, I don't want to show him that I have dogs. Okay, so he, he got missiles first anyway. There's always a chance he made like shocks or, or rifles first if I don't show him the dogs. And we'll get this 2v1. He's probably going to make more missiles, so we're going to make a third dog. I'm not sure why the missile isn't going and helping the first guy. That's pretty rude. Maybe he just cares about stalling the missile, doesn't care about winning this fight. Yeah, he's got a second half. So we want to get on the pads and start charging, obviously. 
Uh, I'm gonna open my barracks, but I'm gonna wait because he's probably okay. Now he's made another missile. I'm gonna go sniper. I was thinking he might go into like pitbull or orca here, but now he's got an extra missile. I'll get the snipers. I want to see what his second building is as well because he's probably gonna go air. Yep, there it is. So we'll go pitbull. As I said before, most people respond to snipers with air. And he's got Orca, which is a very weird choice. So I'm going to let him fire some missiles at my dogs. And then I'm going to boost this Pitbull and take out the Orca. But yeah, he kind of wasted his missiles there going after the dogs. Now I need to run my snipers away and block with dogs. There we go. I'll we'll block the shocks. And take them out with the snipers. I believe I have a hammerhead in my deck. Uh, yep, there it is. So we've got Hammerhead now for these Orcas. And then I probably want to go... I, I, could, I mean, I don't know. I could go Gren, but I don't want to go Gren because uh, because of the... Alright, we're just going to make another Sniper because that Sniper lost a model. So it's a lot weaker. Normally you don't really want to make two Sniper squads at the same time. Because obviously then you get over pop caps on the units that don't fight anything but infantry. Ah, oh, Sandstorm. Uh, well, you know what? Perfect time for the Grens! <laughs> Perfect time for the Grens. The booster Grens are going to annihilate this thing. And then I've got the snipers to, to defend them. So this is actually going to work out really well. Uh-oh. Iron Cannon. Takes out Grens and his own shocks. And I win because my dogs live. Cool. You are victorious. New objective received. Alright. Get the doggos. See what how do you I don't know I don't know how he's done this upside down exclamation mark, but I like it. So he's moved his rifles to block my dogs to stop me from like blocking his half, I think. I think that's what was going on there. Which is definitely a good play, but he took way too much damage on his rifleman. Uh, you actually want to preserve riflemen against dogs because they do enough damage to the dog that missiles will then finish them off. So it's like actually pretty valuable to have them around against uh, against dogs. Just gonna keep making dogs for now. All right, so third rifle, oh, sorry, third missile. I definitely want to go snipers now. Gonna be a little bit aggressive with this dog, uh, just because I want to lose it so I can build snipers sooner. Gonna shoot that guy and then move on. He's going air. Oh, Razorback. Razorback is obviously the worst thing. Worst thing possible for us because it, it, it still it still beats snipers pretty hard. So we're gonna boost this pitbull and try and take care of it. He actually oh ah uh, missed micro the snipers. I actually he actually moved away from the snipers. I could have um I could have protected them, but I I missed micro them and moved them back in. All right, nice. So he misfires with his orca, which means it's gonna go down. But yeah, I should take this first missile pretty easily. These snipers are gonna die. I think I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna let them go. And we're going to make some more pitfalls. Razorback is not as powerful as it was. It's a lot worse at going into defensive missiles now than it used to be. Oh, so he also has Grens. I guess we need snipers for the Grens. Yeah, you can see, like, look how long it takes to kill the missile squad. It actually takes a really long time to kill that missile squad. And again, I messed up my micro and didn't kill the, uh, didn't finish off this Razorback. So we're going to have to keep making snipers. For the Grens, and we're going to want to keep making pit bulls for the Razorbacks. Take out this Razorback. Yeah, as you can see, even, even, wow, even nerfed Razorback still dumps on snipers. Um, it's still a really tough matchup for, for snipers. But I haven't got a hammerhead yet. Like, obviously, if I got a hammerhead out, it'd be a lot easier. So it's kind of, maybe, maybe pit bull spam was the mistake, and I should have instead gone for, should have instead gone for hammerhead. But anyway, we win. We do. Win, we end up winning the game mostly thanks to the pit bulls. So no big deal. Mission accomplished. Control. Three, two, one. New objective. All right. Sticking with the dogs. Any just surrenders. Well, that's a disappointing game. Um, maybe that, was that the same guy? Did I just play that guy before? Is that why he's surrendering? Uh, no. I don't know why that guy's surrendering. Okay, well, rip. Three, two, 
So luckily I've managed to remember to build dogs first every game so far. I haven't accidentally opened grenadiers. Um, I guess that's one upside of the grenadier being 70 cost, is I literally can't make grens by accident first, because you only start with 100 Tiberium. Oh no, wait, that is 100 Tiberium for barracks plus grens. Oh no. <laughs> if I accidentally make grens first in a game, that's going to really... That's going to be really unfortunate. But yeah, we've managed to avoid it thus far, which is nice. Gonna spam some doggos. Just doggo, doggo spam is really good in the early game against barracks. He's probably going to... He doesn't tech switch. Okay. I was thinking he might tech switch here, but he didn't. So I'm just going to go straight into snipers. I'm going to try and lose this one-man dog. He's on laser drones. Okay. I'm fine with this. We'll let some doggos die. And I guess we go Pitbull. We could go missiles, but I'm going to go Pitbull. And he's trying to kill my snipers with laser drones. Okay, fair enough. Again, trying to lose this one-man dog squad. So I can replace it with a Pitbull. Oops. Yeah, my micro is so much worse than it used to be. <laughs> I, blame, I blame my vacation. Okay, so we should win this missile pretty easily. We're on all three pads. He's... Just about on one. Yep, there we go, it's the missile. Doggy, run, 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 run. Okay, we managed to... Ah, oh, I was going to say we managed to not lose a model, but then we did. What an absolute nightmare. I'm going to boost the pit bull so it can take care of these laser drones quickly and then go after the chuggy. I actually don't care about these snipers anymore. Um, one man sniper, or two man sniper squads are not great, so I'm okay with it dying. And then I'm going to go for Grens, and I'm going to use Grens and Missiles in front of my Snipers. Grens to take care of Chuggy, and Missiles to take care of the Lazar Drones. Now hopefully these Grens will annihilate these Chuggies. No, not even. Wow. Man. <laughs> really not impressed with the Grens today. I know it was like there's like two Chuggies or whatever. And you shouldn't really be winning that fight, but it kind of like, it was boosted and it just didn't do well. Like, I'd like it to at least have done well in that fight, but it kind of just was bad. Anyway, we do win the missile, mostly thanks to the fact that laser drones are absolutely terrible against GDI. Um, so yeah. You are victorious. Three, two, one. New okay, so dogs first. Okay, he's going on wheels, that's fine. We'll wait for the harvester. Head over here, get some more vision. I, don't know, I think we're probably just, uh, probably just going to go Pitbull, but we'll wait and see if he makes fights. Uh, if people let you fight wheel dog matchup, then you should take it as the dog side and run away as the wheel side, because dogs beat wheels by a lot. Um, so yeah, if people let you do that fight, you want to do it as the dog side, but not as the wheel side. Alright, so he's going straight into lasers. A little bit surprised to see him go straight into lasers. Like, if you're opening War Factory and then you're immediately tech switching against War Factory, that's just a bit weird. Well, maybe it's not that weird, I don't know. It feels weird to me. It's like you're opening War Factory, but you don't have anything that fights a vehicle. Anyway, we're gonna go snipers because he's got double laser. And obviously, we need to protect our snipers from these wheels. Ooh, we go straight into stealth tank. Okay. Well, we'll get some missiles. And it's a fanatic deck, alright. So we want to clear up these wheels as quickly as possible so they don't damage our snipers. And we're gonna go Grens to frontline. I'm gonna boost my snipers as well to clean up these uh, fanatics quickly. Okay, so the Grens should handle these wheels. Cool, the Grens are doing a reasonable job here, although, again, it's not clear that they're actually doing a better job than Predator would have. And, it, like, because basically what it comes down to, in my opinion, is that Predator has Raider, and Raider is the best ability in the game. So any unit with Raider is going to almost certainly be better than a similar unit without Raider. So, the, really, the advantage Grens bring is that they have a different unit type, they have infantry. But I don't even think that's a bonus, I think it's actually worse to be infantry a lot of the time, I think you'd rather be a vehicle. So yeah, I think generally speaking, Grens aren't fantastic. They have the EMP, of course, but I, I believe the EMP is not as good as Raider. I don't actually rate the EMP very highly. 
Now, this this you can do. This sniper with Grenz in front wall type thing is pretty powerful. Like, I'm not going to deny that. This is a pretty powerful strategy. It's quite hard to break it. If you don't have air, it can be extremely hard to break this. So that is that is upside. But um, generally speaking, I think I prefer I think I prefer the uh, the predator. Of course, that's just specific to this sniper deck. That's not that's not Grenz in general. Um, although, yeah, actually, it kind of is gen Grenz in general. I think Grenz are a little a little weak. Objective received. Okay, up against Viper. Harvester ready. Harvester ready he goes Harvester. It looks like he's going double half based on the placement of the Harvester. But we'll wait and see. Rhino start. Alright, so we're going to back up and go for uh, Pitbull here. Unit ready. And we'll see what he does next. We're going to go around behind the Rhino, so that if he tries to run away we can hopefully block it with the dogs. Okay, he's going for my Harvester. This is a very strange set of events that is occurring here. Okay, another Pitbull. I'm going to tech switch into Missiles because I don't want to overcommit on my own Pitbulls. I'm going to send the dogs to go and see what he's up to. So far, nothing. Oh, snipers, alright. So it's gonna be a sniper mirror. I'll get my two dogs on his uh, on his snipers. They're not gonna do a great job against them, but you know, they'll tickle them whilst he's shooting my missiles. Jump jets. Alright, so we need our own snipers. We, yeah, we got a model there, which is actually really good. Makes the squad a lot weaker. And I'll boost and target his incoming snipers. So once we, we take one out before he shoots, which means we win by a lot. Very nice. Just making dogs to get something on the field, get some blockers, that kind of thing. I want to make Grens here, I think. Although Grens obviously are going to struggle a little bit on account of the fact he has snipers. Let's boost these Grens. This is the thing, even, even with the faster speed, Grens still really struggle to actually catch units that are running away from them. Like pit bulls and tanks. And that's really the issue. That's really always been the issue with Grens. Is that they're only really great as defensive units. Um, I mean, they did, a, they did a pretty good job there. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain or anything. Like they did a good job on that, on that fight. But generally, it's quite hard to actually catch a raider unit, and that's why I prefer to have my own raider unit. Objective complete. Three, two, one. New objective. Available. All right. So, is that I dog or L dog? Either way, I expect he's going to be very happy to see dogs. Oh, uh, what? He's using rifles? I hope he has dogs in the deck, because I really feel like if you're going to be called I-Dog or L-Dog, whichever one that is, um, and you're not going to play dogs, it's, you know, it's just... It's like when you see the guys who are called, like, Kane, and they're playing GDI. And you're just like, come on, man. You know, respect respect the brand. <laughs> you, can't, you can't be called Kane and play GDI. It's just not on. You know, it's just not cricket. All right, so... I really want to charge the missile because I think this guy is almost certainly going to be playing uh, tech of some description. And because he's spamming missiles here, he's made a lot of missiles, we're going to go for a sniper. And there's a rhino, we're going to try and block the rhino out, obviously. And I guess Pitbull? Yeah, let's get Pitbull. Could go Pitbull, could go Grant. I'm feeling like Pitbull. Pitbull's more versatile. If he goes into air, the Pitbull's good, whereas... Like I've said before in this run, if you make snipers, people often respond with air. So to then also make Grens is super risky because they might just have air units coming at your snipers. Right, so we block out these rhinos, we snipe out these missiles. We should be able to get some missiles easily. I'm going to make the Grens here because I already have two pit bulls, so I'm not too worried about an air unit popping out. And so far he's only shown me War Factory, so the Grens should be pretty good. I'm gonna get some more Grens, because it doesn't look like this guy is very strong against Grens. Yeah, see this is kind of the problem with the Grens is again, like they're just they're just not they're just not that beefy. They're going down to militant or riflemen pretty easily. I'd rather just have a really tanky frontline unit, like a predator tank. And once they start losing hit points, they start losing value as well. 
because they lose power because you know they lose models and then they become less powerful whereas predator tank is you know a vehicle so i think being a raider vehicle is like the best thing you can be in this game obviously raider flying is insane as well that's why razorback's so good but uh yeah i'd rather be a raider vehicle than a not raider infantry anyway all that aside we're gonna win this missile pretty easily Victorious. Three, two, one. Okay. Wanna go scout for the rush? By the way, if you're thinking to yourself, should I go harvester first or scout unit first? Blade seems to change his mind a lot. You should almost always go scout unit first. Like, when I go Harvester first, it's usually because I'm being lazy or because I'm not paying attention at the start of the game, so I just immediately pick up a, a Harvester to get to get, to get get the Harvester built. Uh, what I've done here is reduce these Militants to a two-man squad, because the two-man squad doesn't do as much damage, uh, and then the doesn't it doesn't finish off the dogs as quickly as a two-man squad. Um, and I'm going to go Snipers because he's got a bunch of lasers. I have to wait and see what he goes into next. I think it's going to be Chuggy, to be honest with you. That's my that's my read. He's gone Bikes, but I think he has Chuggy in his deck because he's playing Jade and we've seen Militants and we haven't seen Chems yet. It could be a Militant. I mean, Militant Chem is pretty common, so it could easily be that, but we haven't seen it yet. Interesting. So he's sending two Bike Squadrons at my Harvester. We're going to defend with the double Pitbull, which should work out just fine. There's a stealth tank now. Exciting. I'm gonna grab some Gren since he's got this stealth tank. Still haven't seen a chemical unit. I'm gonna boost them and hope the EMP means I can run them, run down this stealth tank. Alright, nice. That's very good. Definitely worth the boost there. There's the chems. Okay, so it was chems. Obviously, I don't really want to be blocking for chems with Grens. I'd rather block with a vehicle unit. As you can see here, he's gonna kill my Grens before the snipers kill the chems. And that means I've just traded like a 70 cost unit for a 60 cost unit, so it's not even a good trade. So I want to block with dogs instead. Dogs, dogs or Pitbull. Pitbull is obviously a good blocker as well. Alright, cool. So there goes another chem unit. Get the snipers back into position. He goes Shade. Yeah, I'm thinking of going Hammerhead. I think I will. Yeah, I'm going to go Hammerhead. And the thing about Shade as well... Um, is that the volley does enough to kill a sniper, I'm pretty sure, which is a huge beating. Like, as a sniper player, having someone use a shade to just kill one of your sniper models is really annoying, because snipers are so much weaker once they lose a guy. Anyway, um, yeah, boost these snipers and we, we're going to take this missile, which is nice. Enemy base destroyed. Okay, last game with the Grens. Um, I, I I think, obviously I'll talk about the deck at the end, but I, I think that you shouldn't play Grens in a sniper deck. But, I don't know. It's hard, because like, I've had, a, I've had a bunch of games against Gren Sniper where I've actually had a pretty hard time. Like, there's some decks that really kind of struggle with Gren Sniper. So it's hard for me to just straight up say, don't play Gren Sniper, because there are a bunch of decks that can have a really hard time against it. So maybe it's not the worst thing in the world to play Gren Sniper, but um, yeah, I, I'm not particularly I don't I'm not particularly enamoured with it right now. Like I'm playing it right now, and I don't think it's overly impressive. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Anyway, let's get back to the game. So this guy's gone MGs, obviously. We want to really be stalling against MGs as much as possible, and we want to chip away at these missiles that block with our snipers. Uh, we're unlikely to win the first missile because he's no half MG. That's okay. Maybe if my snipers kill his MG here, we'll win the missile. Wow, we actually did manage to kill. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, we might actually win this missile. Hang on. If I can target this guy. Yeah, hang on. Hang on. I'm, I'm distracted, guys. I'm distracted. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get back to the talking after this missile. Block, block, block. Ah, nice. We won the missile. Okay, so the game is effectively over now. We won the first missile against the no-harv deck. It's insanely difficult to win with no-harv if you lose first missile. What I was trying to say is... We want to use our snipers to chip away at the missile blockers. And then once the missile blockers are down, we can push in with sniper plus dog and take out the MGs. At least that's the game plan. 
So what I'm actually going to do here, very unusual to go double sniper, but because it's MGs, I'm going to do it. We're going to move in, going to boost this, I want to kill this MG before it sets up. There we go. Nice. And then he accidentally moved this one, so that's game over. Because he accidentally moved this MG, we're going to snipe that one down as well. Alright, cool. So yeah, normally you wouldn't go double sniper, but because it's an MG deck, I need to set up this big push against the setup MGs with double sniper, especially since he was trying to set up a third MG. If he gets to a point where he has like three or four MGs set up all next to each other, it's almost impossible for me to ever break it again. So I did need to make a move then and take it down, uh, which we were able to do, and that's why we're going to win the game. We also obviously managed to take that first missile, which was very nice. So there it is. I believe that was 10-0 with the Sniper Gren, but honestly, I played Sniper Pitbull a lot more, and I really feel like Predator would have been stronger than the Grens a lot of the time. Um, so yeah, in, in conclusion... I'm not saying Grens are bad, I don't like Grens that much in a sniper deck. As I was saying, sometimes they can be quite powerful in that combination, but I don't think it's very good. I wouldn't recommend it. There's a lot of things it's really weak to, especially with Catship now being the new hot meta. Like, it's going to be horrible against Catship to play Sniper Gren. Um, so yeah, there might be a Grenadier deck out there that's good, but I don't know what it is. Like, I, I haven't found it yet. Um, yeah, I, I, I think Grenadiers are a bit weak, so I, don't, I still don't recommend them. I think they're still kind of bad. I don't think the change the change to 70 and fast, I think, made them slightly better. I think them being fast is more impactful than the extra 10 Tiberium when they were already quite an expensive unit. But I think they're still a weak unit and still not as good as Marauders, which are actually a pretty impressive unit. So in conclusion, I would say if you found a good Grenadier deck that works for you, then A+, plus, you know, stick with it, great, whatever. But if you're thinking, should I try Grenadiers, I would recommend them. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. See you next time.